Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit of a different video. Um, I was going to put this on my main channel but actually I thought it would probably be better for me to put it on my second channel because it's a revision sort of kind of video because basically I've bought a new iPad. Bit of an impulse buy but I really miss my iPad because it broke and I don't know, I was using my sister's iPad yesterday and I just really wanted an iPad and I've been thinking about it for ages and it was on offer because the uni days has got an education thing so I was like right I'm gonna get an iPad so this is the new iPad it's the 32 gigabyte one but I thought I'd show you what I've got on it because so many of you have asked me to do like a study app video and um, I thought this is kind of like a what's in my iPad slash study app video two in one extravaganza so I'm on FaceTime to Lizzie by the way <laughs> um, if you see a little arrow at the s you're not in it you just a little arrow on the side. Do you have anything you want to say to the camera while it's on? Subscribe to me. <laughs> well, this is my home screen. Uh, it's just I I really like just having all of my stuff on the on the main screen just normal because it just makes me happy that they're all in the order that they were. So I've got FaceTime, obviously, which I'm using to FaceTime Lizzie, calendar photos, camera, contacts, clock, which is my life for alarms and stuff. Um, home, which I really want to, I need to get something that I can control with that because it's really cool. Uh, then I've got videos, notes, blah, 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 reminders. Uh, then I've got the news. I didn't realise how cool this app was. I've had it on my phone and I just never really used it. Um, but it's really cool because you can, like, tick what you actually want to see. Um, and get rid of the stuff that you don't, not that I want to see the sun, but like, it's like, for you! So, Spanish politics, and Brexit, and German. Ofqual estimates that 17% of students taking German A-level are native speakers, taking about half of the A-star grades. Well, doesn't that sum up my life? <laughs> and all of the, look, a disproportionate amount of the A and A-star grades on offer. I need to save I need to read that later but yeah it's just got all of my news that I actually like reading about and this is actually making it harder for non-native speakers sitting the exam just thought I'd just thought I'd put that out there 28 times more likely to achieve an A okay I'm gonna read this in a bit because this sums up my life anyway moving on <laughs> now now I've just proved my point about languages at A level um, so I've got iTunes store app store iBooks which I don't really use that much unless it's for audiobooks um, settings find my iPhone and then at the bottom I've just got messages Safari and Spotify Spotify is my life <laughs> yeah as you can tell I've been in a bit of a Disney mood at the moment but just got lots of playlists and things like that good for music and stuff obviously then at the top I have all my socials and then I have all of my apps in different folders because that's just how my brain works it's how my brain likes to function so I've got my Twitter which I haven't logged in yet because I thought if I do my notification is going to go crazy but you all know what my Twitter is anyway and then I've got Facebook which is private obviously Messenger which is private obviously uh, Instagram again haven't logged in because my notifications will go crazy but you all know what my Instagram is my Gmail for like school stuff and then I've got video so I've got iPlayer because iPlayer's got some good stuff on if you do politics definitely worth a get in because hold on if I can show you on Parliament you can watch select committees PMQs Westminster in review briefings by the ministers all of that sort of stuff which is all really useful of course there's like a brexit committee as well which is really useful if you want some extra examples and things like that and then i've got netflix obviously who doesn't have netflix these days um if any of you have watched 13 reasons why do let me know because it's so good right um so let me know what you think about 13 reasons why in the comments and if you have any questions i might answer them next time i do a video but you can see the sort of stuff that i watch <laughs> quite boring stuff really then I have Amazon video because they've got such good stuff on here I'm fully not joking victorious salmon cat mr. maker who remembers mr. maker but yeah there's loads of good TV shows on here and some films that you can't get on Netflix and I'm all about having as many films as possible then I've got YouTube obviously so I've just got all of my this is my revision channel by the way this this is why I've got so many uh, revision videos in my subscription box there's ibs and unjaded jade who i really like um things like that and then i have podcasts which I don't use really 
but if you do um, GCSE English, you'll need to try and find Mr. Bruff's podcasts. They'll save your life. Just thought I'd let you know if you do AQA especially. God bless you if you do AQA. Um, and then we've got Goodreads because I read a lot of books when, I, when I'm when i not in school. So I like to keep track of what I've read. BBC News because although I love the news app, I do just love BBC News. Because it's just so easy to see what's going on. Have a news at a glance. Nothing stupid. Bit of my own Corbyn, you know. You know, you know, fun stuff like that. And then I've got HSBC. Well, you know, HSBC. <laughs> then I have my Kindle app because I don't really use that that much because I have so many books printed off. But I have a few books on here that I couldn't find in the shop and samples just to read the stuff and see if I like it. Um, but yeah, not much on there. And then I have my languages folder. So a lot of you are asking what apps I use for languages because obviously, as you've just seen on that news report, it's so difficult to get a star in languages, but that's whatever, it's fine. Um, so this is Tagesschau, which is a German news. Yeah, okay. It's the German news, um, the main German news thing, and I usually just like to watch. Oh my gosh, seriously? Stop! Okay. Anyway, so yeah, you can look at inland, so like Germany, foreign, economy. Um, you can watch it in 100 seconds, like cute little summary videos. And you can watch it live as well, which is really useful if you do German. And then I have Spanish Dictionary, which isn't just a Spanish dictionary, don't worry. Um, it Okay, stop. Literally stop. Um, so yeah, you get like word of the day notifications, which always reminds me that I need to do Spanish. Um, and there's a word game as well, which can help you learn um, vocab. And on the website as well, if you do Spanish, there's loads of grammar exercises, which is really useful. And then I have Google Translate, just because it's used easy. If you just cannot translate something, sometimes you just need Google Translate. I'm funny, not joking. Um, and then I have Quizlet. Oh my gosh, my life. <laughs> Literally my life. I don't know what I'd do about Quizlet. As you can tell, it's just all Spanish. But I have so many, so many Quizlet sets. But yeah, loads of folders, all of this sort of stuff. Very important to me. Quizlet is my life. I use it for literally everything and then I have word reference which is my f dictionary of choice um, for languages so um, it's just really useful because you can put in a word like I don't know cake that's literally the most random word and it just gives you like sentences in context and like different like all the ways that you can say it and then like some um, some like idioms and stuff like a piece of cake and stuff like that um, it's just really useful and then I have my school folder so I have Outlook which is my email for school um, OneNote is just really really useful because um, you can write notes with like a pen rather than typing stuff up which I find really useful but I'm not going to show you all my notes because my school is on there so bye bye and then I've got Docs which is just part of Google Drive Microsoft Word which I don't really use that much to be honest because I've got my Google Docs and everything's on my Google Drive I've got Chegg flashcards, which I did use for a while, but for some reason I can't get my flashcards back on here. But I use these a lot for history GCSE, um, but I'm trying to find them for a friend, and I cannot find them anywhere. And then I've got Pages. Pages is obviously just the Mac version of Word, and I just I like Pages because it's just so clean and crisp. Like, it's just so nice. Um, and there's a bit of Latin. I don't do Latin. I just thought I'd let you know. And Keynote, which I use over PowerPoint any day because it's just so gorgeous. Like, look at this. Yeah, it just beats PowerPoint. And I, I revise very well off PowerPoints, especially for, like, topical things. So that's really useful. Then I have iTunes U, which actually is so useful because you can sign up to different courses. So I've got, like, three on Chaucer, which I found, which are really useful. And there's absolutely loads. There's math, science, languages, chemistry. There's even stuff for specific exam boards, like... English language GCSE revision, GCSE chemistry unit 2, there's literally loads, like, if you have a look you'll find some really good stuff on here, there's even stuff on OCR A level English Lit, which nowhere else has, cough cough OCR, and um, then I have Google Drive, Google Drive is my lifeline, as you can tell, there's so much on here, um, I promise it, it's more organised than it looks, um, this is just because over Easter I've been doing so much that I haven't had time to like put it all in my folders but my Google Drive is my life and I don't know what I would do without it and everything is on there that is my school life <laughs> and then finally my last folder is YouTube so I have iMovie in case my final cuts playing up 
then I have camera connect can you please stop please with the notification stop it stop oh my god oh my days yeah right this is really useful because I have a G7X, so if I want photos on my iPad, I can take them straight off the G7X. Garage Band and Photo Booth just come with it, and then I have YouTube Studio, which lets me see my analytics, all of that sort of thing, all of the videos, whatever. I'm glad you all like my new video with Ibs. Um, but yeah, that is everything I have on my iPad. I just thought this would be a good video because those are all of the revision apps that I use, so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. And I'm absolutely obsessed with all of those revision apps and I use them all religiously. I only have the ones on here that I literally can't live without. There are none on there that I don't use at least once a day. So I hope that this was of some my camera's just slipped because my camera can't deal with the weight of the eye with the of the lens. But I hope this is of some use to you. If it was, then don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Someone's knocking at my door. And I will see you very soon with a new revision channel video. Or maybe a main channel video, who knows. But comment down below some requests and I will get back to you. Okay, bye. I can't really wave, can I? Because, there we go, bye.